Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is time, the legendary Nike Vaporfly version two has had a pretty significant update. Version three is here, it's in this box, ready to go. Right, let's get stuck in, see if this new one is gonna be any good. Super excited for this one, guys. Let's get this video done. It's great that you're joining us here for another video. If you're new around here, we do a lot of shoe reviews and also cover a lot of my own training, races, and lots of tips and tricks to help with your running. So if you're new around here, consider subscribing. But anyway, today, it's all about this, the brand new Nike Vaporfly version three. I haven't even taken this out of the box yet. Don't worry, we're gonna do plenty of miles in it during this video. But firstly, we're gonna start chatting about all of the facts and figures about this shoe and what is different from the outgoing model. Then we're gonna take it on a session. I've got some reps to do. And then in a couple of days time, I'm gonna take it out on my long run, getting ready for London Marathon. Right, let's get stuck into the facts and figures. Let's get this box out of the way. Let's put that over there and have a better look at the new shoe. Let's get rid of all this paper that comes inside. First impressions are it is pretty light. There's meant to be a bit of a weight saving on this new model. Got my scales here ready to go. But starting out, talking about the price. Well, this set me back 235 of my British pounds. I bought this on the Nike website here in the UK. Now I'm sure a lot of people wanna know is when is the US model dropping? When's the Australian model coming? I don't know at this stage. At the moment, it's just been released in Europe, hence I've been able to get this so far. So there'll be a few people in Europe that have been able to snap this up. Nike do love to launch their prototype colorway with these orange and cream and white colors. You'll have seen this in the Alpha Fly and the Street Fly as well. When the big launch comes in, probably about four to six weeks or so, maybe in a couple of months, I'm sure it'll be in, sort of in time for the London Marathon. There's gonna be the gray version, and I think I've seen the pink version as well. The stack height remains unchanged from the outgoing model. So 40 mil stack at the back, eight millimeter drop, so 32 mil stack at the front of the shoe. It is classified as a neutral shoe, although for some stability runners, this could be a good option out there for you. There's a little bit more support on the inside. We'll touch on that a little bit later on in the video. It's very much a shoe for your racing. It's a racing and workout shoe, and one you really wanna be only taking on the road. For anything, Nike say 10K to marathon, but I would really say you can use this for 5Ks, no problem at all. Nike have a new fly knit upper here, slightly different design, really big breathable holes here in that upper. If you compare it to the outgoing model, it's gonna be a lot of airflow to be able to come in there. If you like running in warmer climates, this could be a good one for you. The midsole is full of Nike's premium ZoomX foam here, and there's a little bit more foam in version three as well. We'll touch on that in the changes very soon. The outsole, slightly less material here. So this is two mil thinner than the outgoing model, as you can see here on the shoe. Slightly different design as well. This does look a little bit more grippy to me, a little less, I thought, sort of slappy, a little bit less weight here in this new design as well. So we'll see what that's like when we get out on the road very soon. Possibly a slight concern with some durability issues here, but yeah, we'll chat on that later on as well. Seems just a little bit less hard wearing potentially, but we don't know just yet. There's a full length carbon fiber plate. As far as I can tell, this is the same plate that is in the outgoing model as well. You can see it in this cutout here on the bottom. There are no different widths available. It just comes in one standard width and there are men's and women's versions. Right, let's move on to have a chat about the differences between the new shoe and the outgoing model. Right, let's touch on, on some of the differences between the two models. So I'm gonna get my scales in here and we're just gonna have a quick way. Now this is my UK size 12, so probably a little bit heavier than some. The outgoing model, 252 grams, and the incoming model should be a little bit lighter, 244. Slight weight decrease there. How they've done that essentially is chopping a little bit out the side here, chopping a little bit off the bottom, just where you don't need that sort of foam. The new outsole is slightly lighter as well, slightly lighter, it's slightly thinner as well, two millimeters thinner on the outsole. 
And because the stack height's the same, they've just added an extra two millimeters of foam in here. So it should be a little bit more, a little bit more responsive, a little bit more soft, a little bit more cushy, a little bit more go. We'll see what that's like out on the run. As I touched on earlier, Nike is saying this shoe is a little bit more stable as well. A little bit more support here on the inside of the shoe as well. So if you are someone that it does sort of tip a little bit on the inside, then this could be an option for you. We'll be doing some turns during my reps today to see how stable this shoe feels. Should be a little bit more feeling like the Alpha fly so that's all the facts and figures now we've really got to go and put this shoe through its paces we're going to head up to victoria park here in london brave the cold weather and do a rep session here getting ready for london marathon we'll catch up properly back here in three or four days once i've done my sort of solid long run for now we're going to take you through my session and my long run on sunday well guys we're up in victoria park now in the east side of london the sun has actually come out it won't be here for long so today's little session we're doing getting ready for we've got barcelona marathon next weekend and then uh the big sort of goal races london marathon we're getting ready for hopefully around mid 230 something like that so today's session we're doing six by k um, probably around about 315s and then six by 200 after that so yeah we can get some nice k speed so it's gonna be about sort of five to ten k pace um and then yeah some faster reps and then on sunday we'll be doing some about 5k pace about marathon pace basically 5k reps then so we're doing lots of different paces into the shoe right i've got 5k warm-up to do after sarah's that's got some nice shots of this we'll see you out on the run you can really see i put my brightest socks on you can really see through just how much you can see through that mesh there It'd be very There's so much extra mesh yeah. Wait. What? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, they are quite big. I have I have very narrow feet, though. So dainty. <laughs> Here we go, six by K, six by 200. First rep, let's get this. Duck. Woo, first rep done. Very planted, very stable around the corners. About the most stable shoe I think I've run in for a carbon plated racer. Really quite nice there, 309 for that rep. We're gonna do reps two, three, and we'll catch up on rep four. Here we go, it's rep number two. People smash that like button and let Sarah know she's doing an amazing job <laughs> out here so cold after a 21 mile run this morning and now she's going to be editing this video as well and yeah check out the website got beautiful long sleeve tees and running hats these beautiful running buffs as well help you with all your spring training right I'm gonna get my breath back for rep number four okay right, it's rep number four Hi, Daddy. Right guys, 304 for that one. Oh, I don't know what to say. I was not expecting this sort of spits coming out today. But we have been putting the miles. Some big, big weeks recently this year, building it up. These shoes, that like Z-Max, fresh pair of Z-Max, just feels lovely. We've actually got a video coming up where we need some splits, some reps in a completely knackered pair of shoes. Uh, some Vaporfly 2s and then like a brand new pair and see how what they're like like 500 k's in a shoe versus brand new so stay tuned for that go and subscribe see how long these shoes stay in peak performance right let's get ready for wrap number five I think we can get a 303 and a 302 no a 259 
Get Sarah. Okay, are you happy with that? Ecstatic, Sarah. Ah. Whether it's me or the sheets, I don't know. Probably a bit of both. Bit of both. We're just going to need some turnders now, six by two hundred, uh, and we'll catch up properly at the end. Alright guys, there we go, session done. We'll put it up on the screen now. Very happy with that. But at the end of the day, most people are here because they want to know if the shoe's good are half marathons and marathons. So that's going to be the long run on Sunday, two days time. We're going to be doing long run building up to the marathons. We're coming up, doing some 5k blocks at marathon pace, see what it's like. But so far, 5k pace, 10k pace, it's rolling really nicely. So stay tuned, fast forward a couple of days, we'll see you on Sunday. Right guys, it's Sunday evening now. I hope you have had a good weekend. I've just got in from my afternoon run, my big long run for Sunday. Uh, it's like three by 5K, 5K on, 5K off, with the 5K ons, uh, 1810, 1741, and 1719. All of that done in the Vaporfly 3. So yeah, really solid session to go with the session that you saw earlier. Very happy with that. Anyway, let's have a chat all about my initial thoughts on the shoe. Um, yeah, my likes, dislikes, and is it going to rotation, all that sort of jazz. So first big like, this is definitely a fast shoe. It's not a huge jump in performance that some of us might li have liked to have seen. It's a very similar ride to the uh, version two of the shoe but it's still very fast and it's still very snappy, really good transition through that whole stride. It feels really quite nice. Gets you nicely up on your toes, gets that cadence going. I was really surprised at how good those splits were in the session and my session today, very, very happy with that. My second like is it is just very comfortable. The Vaporfly 2, also very comfortable shoe. The comfort lives through to this one as well. Good lockdown, no slip, very, very breathable. You can see up on the screen now where my socks are, my hands inside the shoe. Loads of air coming in there. No hot spots, didn't have any heel slip issues, no Invincible 3 issues in this one. And I really feel this toe box is a little bit wider than the outgoing model as well. So feet have got loads of room in there, really nice, get a good sort of foot splay out in the front there. And my final like for the shoe is the grip and stability with this new outsole. It's been so planted in the corners, just a little bit of extra support on the arch in the inside. I've just really enjoyed it. No slipping around if you are gonna be running some wet areas then yeah so far really great grip and really good stability in this now let's have a chat to move on to the dislikes this has been a little bit hard to put together but after only 23 miles we are starting to see a little bit of scuffing here on the midsole just i'm a bit of a midfoot striker with where that's landing just get a little bit of scuffing there on the zoom x foam in the middle and it is already starting to wear down on the outsole this is an all-out race shoe you know, they're not designed to last very long. And yeah, this is living up to that. There might well be some durability issues for some. It has still got the extra rubber at the back. If you are a heel striker, that should be nicely supported there for you. But yeah, just didn't really want to see that after such a small amount of mileage so far. The second one, yeah, this toe box is quite wide now, which is great for the vast majority of you, but not for me as someone that has narrow feet. So I can't really knock it down for that. For the vast majority of people, it will be great. But I have had a little bit of bunching, just been trying to get that locked down but it has been it has worked absolutely fine and no issues really and my third little thing here is nike have always been the big little leader in these elite carbon plated shoes and this hasn't really been that big step forward that some of us might like to see it's a great shoe it's fantastic there's so many options on the market these days the mizuno rebellion pro the socket endorphin elite the adios pro 3 the new hoka rocket x about to launch we're very lucky as runners to have so many options so it hasn't been a big step forward but 
it's, it's ticked all the boxes I've asked for this shoe and I've really enjoyed running in it. So should you go out and buy this shoe and is it going into my rotation? Well, if you want the latest and greatest, then who am I to stop you going back? It's a fantastic shoe. It really is a bit of a mashup between the Vaporfly and the Alphafly. The stability, the Alphafly and the support, but without all that sort of slappy, loud noise. That noise is not here in this shoe, luckily. I've really enjoyed running it. I've been very happy with the two shirts and I've done some great splits and no doubt it is a very fast shoe. If you can get some deals on the Vaporfly 2, I'd definitely stock up on this. There are a few options around for about 130, 140 pounds in the UK at the moment. It's very hard to say you go out and spend an extra 100 pounds on this so far. It's definitely the top contender at the moment for the London Marathon. Just wish the Mizuno Rave, Re Wave Rebellion Pro was made in my size, because I would love to test that, but they don't make it. <laughs> so that's it for the video guys. I hope you found it useful and let us know, are you gonna be getting this shoe at the big launch? Have you got the prototype color? away let us know your thoughts on it down below i've run 145k this week really really happy with where things are going for london can't wait to welcome loads of you guys to london as well for the marathon coming up in a few weeks i hope your training is going well keep on working hard keep on getting it done check out the website benparks.com we make the most amazing running hats on there to help you out with your running and loads of gear to help support the channel as well we couldn't do this without you so thank you so much for your support keep on getting it done guys and we'll see you in the next one